Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about what network engineering is. So let's get started. For those who have seen my previous videos, you all know that I have majored in um, computer engineering with an emphasis in software. And if you haven't, well, now you know. Um, and then I went for another year to get my master's degree, mainly because uh, my employer uh, required it. And instead of it being an emphasis in software, it was actually um, an emphasis in networks and computer architecture. So I thought I would go over what exactly network engineering is and to uh, maybe shed some light on that area. So yeah, I'm just going to get into it. Network engineering, it's basically in the title. You have to have a good understanding of of networks between computers, how they communicate. So you need to know like the IP addresses as well as IP address spaces um, and a whole wide variety of things and how one computer can communicate to another. For example, uh, a term that you would use a lot in networking is a three-way handshake where you have two hosts and the host A sends a packet to host B. The host B accepts it and if it accepts it then it'll send a notification to host A that hey I got this package and then host A is like okay great so I know that I can connect to host B and it got the package and of course there's always more details to it so you also have to know like the IP addresses of you know host A and host B um, how they're able to communicate to each other and if host A were to send a packet would they encrypt it and how would they encrypt it there's different types of encryption that you can put in a message also known as a packet and whoever it's being sent to would need to know uh, the key or have the public key for decrypting that message and being able to read it. So the security of messages being sent and the encryption and decryption, um, that is all actually related to cybersecurity as well. So if you're interested in that, having a background in networking would be perfect because you'd be able to understand how the computers communicate to each other and thus be able to figure out how encrypting a certain message would help secure it and make it less vulnerable for attacks or anything like that. So that's kind of what you'll learn in networks and the basic overview on that. Um, but now I'm gonna go over what exactly network engineers do because it could be slightly different. And this kind of gives a better overview on what you should expect to actually do and what type of work you'll actually do and not just uh, what information you'll learn. So network engineers design and implement network configurations. They troubleshoot performance issues, carry out network monitoring and configure security systems such as firewalls. In general, if you're a network engineer, you'll be the one who is making sure that the computer is up and running and making sure that um, the connections to it, whether it be to the internet or to other uh, computers are working. And if something were to fail, your job is to see what exactly is going on with that communication and why a particular network is not running or why it's down. Um, other things that would involve network engineers is if a node on a system were to go down, you were to figure that out and figure out why it went down. Maybe that would involve having to update the operating system or you'd have to restart that particular node. You'll also be you know, implementing the network configuration. So anything such as like um, P2P or um, IV4 or IV6, those are different types of network uh, connections, you'll be implementing those configurations correctly so that the computers are able to talk to each other. For example, you have another engineer who wants two different systems to be connected to each other. One of them is a Rel8 machine and then another one is a CentOS machine. They're two different types of operating systems. Well, then your job is to uh, get those configurations, the network configurations to work so that those two computers are able to talk to each other, uh, send each other messages, ping each other. If the engineer wants to be able to SSH into that particular a computer, then you would also have to apply those network configurations as well. Uh, so all of that is part of network engineering. Um, you have to do a lot of not really the back end work of operating systems, but more so of the uh, computer hardware, but it's the uh, configuring and programming of that hardware. You're not doing the operating system, but you're also not doing the uh, 
hardware part of the computer. You're doing the connections between two different computers. So that's basically what you do as a network engineer. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, the description and what you do is basically in the title. I could always go into more detail about this and what different jobs you could get as a network engineer. Um, but in terms of uh, you know, education, you would at least need a bachelor's degree because you do need to know a lot of information about it, like I had said earlier. It's a lot of information that you need to learn and you can't just uh, be a tech for it. You have to actually uh, get more than an associate's degree because you're the engineer, you're the one who's more knowledgeable and should be able to perform more of the uh, fixing the problems more so than actually just using the networks and using the computer. That's basically it. I don't think you need a master's degree, but yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, uh, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you would like me to go in more detail about this topic, then also let me know. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching. Bye.